It's a pleasure now to introduce our next speaker, Farhad Mazar. Okay. Thank you very much. I'm really you know, impressed and overwhelmed, partly because it was, it was a great experience for me to see that how much you are concerned about the food crisis and especially some of the global issues what already, you know, um, we have has been spoken here. So I will show you some slide and also I'll keep on speaking, partly because this will contextualize what I'm going to speak. It's a privilege for me already to, you know, be with these eminent people here on the podium and also to be with you uh, tonight. So, uh, you know, many of you will wonder what does it mean Noe Krishi or the new agricultural movement really mean? Or why should we go for the biodiversity-based ecological agriculture? Why it's so complicated concept? Actually, in Bengali, we don't have to translate this way. I'll show it soon to you. This little girl, to just the photograph you look into, it doesn't look like an agriculture field to you, I'm sure. But it is, she is really collecting food. If you just maintain the biodiversity, there are many uncultivated sources of the food which the people can easily collect. And that's very, very important for us to really understand. So we need to even change the conception of agriculture to really start with, because that would be my appeal to many of you tonight. Many of the things is already scientists accept, policymakers accept, but they don't want to change the policy. Say, for example, you know, there is a tenfold increase in the amount of toxicity of synthetic insecticide used, and, uh, but the crop yield losses due to insects nearly double. You are using pesticides, but you cannot really manage the insects and the pest attacks. So you need the biodiversity. You need the diverse uh, farming system, not the monoculture, not the industrial food production. This is, uh, you know, already the ex which we are experiencing already in the modern agriculture system. And you know, pesticide resistance is there, the groundwater has already been uh, polluted, and the soil gets degraded, loss of biodiversity, and even the modern variety, what you know, quite often they told to us is uh, you know, uh, uh, providing food for us, they're also becoming stagnant. The productivity is stagnating in a very alarming, um, alarming way. And as you have already heard right now that uh, whole uh, biofuel issue, and also even though people has produce, let's say, just you compare, let's say, in, um, in, in, in the 2007, there's 2.3 billion tons of um, food being produced. We enough food. It's 4% increase from the 2006. And, uh, and also, if we, even you look into, say, from the 60s, if you look into food production, the food production almost triple, even the population increase only double. So it's not that population is a problem for the food crisis. It is important to see which area where that imbalance really Cause, but population cannot be abstractly can we talk about the main problem. But why it happened, why this food crisis is globally really happened is because food is being transferred to, to feed the animals because people don't have the excess for the food and increasingly many of the lands are being taken away for the biofuel production which you have heard already. So as I say to you, you know, if I, in Bangladesh, in the Bengali language, I don't have to use this complicated word called biodiversity based food production. I can use a simple word called the shahaj, which means simple way of understanding agriculture. Don't make it complicated. Don't get confused with industrial food production with agriculture. If you do agriculture, it is not industrial food production. It is not based on fossil fuel. It doesn't use the energy. It is a very different way of doing agriculture, which for thousands of years, you know, the human community, human civilization has really learned. So we have to rethink what mistakes we have really, we have really done so far. And, you know, ecological agriculture, organic agriculture is not something very new. It's very simple to do. Look at these girls, you know, it is very simple. They just collect the water hyacinth. It's plenty available. They don't have to go for the fertilizer for the companies, for the World Bank is going to invest on the fertilizers. But if you say, give training to the women to produce the compost, development fund is not available to them. But they will be talking about for the poor. This is some of the paradox and the contradiction. And you look, this woman is already in the left side, she's already checking her soil. She knows which soil is good, which soil is already dead, and in what type of soil also requires what type of, you know, species of the variety. These are very sophisticated knowledge. It's not that high-tech solution is not the only solution. 
There are other knowledge systems that we have to bring into our consideration and really uh, use it for the enhanced food production. So, you know, the, 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 these are the systems that is actually managed by the farmer. That's a tremendous advantage. And also, these are based on a knowledge system that is foolproof for over the thousands of years that have really developed. I'm not saying that I'm against science or noyakishi is not about traditional farming. Noyakishi is about integrating the modern biological sciences with the basic principle of the way we relate with the nature ethically, responsibly, and also to feed not only the human being, also the, all the life forms, insects, animals, everybody. Everybody needs food, it's not only the human beings. So if you go into say, look, what a noyakish, if, if you go, it would look like. It doesn't look, I'm not showing you intentionally any rice fields, because you will immediately see that food is simply staple food that we produce for the, you know, the land should be used only for the production of the rice. This is highly productive, space, which you use in many different ways. Many different spaces are being, these women are already cultivating. You can already saw even the mango trees on this, on our farmland. And if you would have left this land to the iri, they would have cut the mango trees, they would eliminate these women, and they will only produce high yielding variety rice. That's what exactly we have to change our focus. By food, we don't mean cereals. Food also means a lot of other things. So that is, I think, maybe what, and this is also is some of the things, you said different spaces being used differently. Even the little kids are playing in the land, which is the water land, but they're collecting food already. It's a playful thing for them. They're collecting some flowers, and at the same time, they're also collecting food for them, maybe for the lunch, when they'll really go back um, in, 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 in their families. So the usually in, Noyakishi system, we insist on the mixed cropping, not monoculture.